Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well unfortunately you read that right. It looks like we may be getting a new online shoppers tax. So let's begin. Okay, this story is from The Sun, and it says taxing times. Shoppers face online sales Amazon tax to plug huge COVID black hole in UK finances. Brits could face being whacked with higher prices online under plans for a sales tax on internet giants, a minister warned yesterday. Financial Secretary to the Treasury, Jesse Norman, said the new shoppers levy may be needed to help pay off the coronavirus debt. So let me get this straight. They close all the shops, so therefore we have to shop online. And then they put the prices up online. Well, what's the point in that? How can they justify that? I know we have to pay back for the pandemic, for the amount of things that the government has dished out. But I do not think penalising people um, to shop online is a very good idea. Part of this coronavirus thing is to stay at home. But if you penalise people by putting taxes, extra tax, on top of the VAT, which we have to pay, then they're going to go back down to the high street where they can get it at a cheaper price. Obviously, you can see here by the image, the cost of coronavirus is quite high. But I'm sure this money could be paid back, possibly over a longer period of time, but it could be paid back by other means. Chancellor Rishi Sunak is said to be keen on the idea, which is projected to raise an additional £2 billion extra a year for the nation's coffers. Under the plan, a 2% charge may be slapped on all goods bought online in the UK. Now, 2%, yes, admittedly, doesn't sound that much. However, we already pay 20% tax on everything we buy anyway online, or most things anyway. So let's say, for example, you bought a new iPad. The new one, the new iPad Pro, let's say, that's coming out, the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which will probably roughly cost £1,000. We're already paying £200 of that in tax anyway. So an extra 2% on top of that is an extra £20, which could buy you, obviously, Apple's new expensive wall charger or anything else for £20, a couple of months worth of Netflix, maybe. Obviously, for lower amounts, it's not too bad. It's like £2 per £100. However, all that will soon add up into a mountain of extra money that we all have to pay back. And yes, I know everything needs to be paid back, but I'm sure there's better ways of doing it rather than charging us all extra to buy things online. That could be accompanied by an extra charge on deliveries to bring in further cash. So they're not even satisfied with that. So not only will we have to pay the initial VAT, we then have to pay this online shoppers tax on top of that, plus probably delivery if, if it's not free, but then an extra charge on delivery, which will make it go higher and possibly a charge on delivery, which would have been free. It's ridiculous. Mr. Norman told MPs, when we thought about business rates in the recent consultation, we touched on the idea of an online sales tax and just put it out there for discussion and evaluation, which we're still reflecting on that. Well, I'll tell you where to reflect on that. You can put that straight in a bin. Treasury sources said the plan was being considered, but played down that the sweeping reforms would be part of the upcoming March budget. Well, I should hope not. I know that we have a budget every year and things get put up and put down a little bit. However, this year we are in the middle of a pandemic. Lots of people are losing their jobs. So I don't think this is now the time to raise taxes and things like that. I know things need to be paid for, but surely that can be done a little bit later on. Number 10 signalled its openness to the idea back in July, with the Britain's public finances taking a battering due to the pandemic. But all the way back in July, we were just coming out of the first lockdown and people probably thought that it was then starting to be the end of it. Obviously, we know now that's not true. So hopefully they won't go ahead with this. Fingers crossed. Ministers have argued that the move would help save our high streets by evening up the competition with online giants, which would have lower overheads. There may also be a deliveries tax, which would help towards reaching environmental targets. Well, if you order stuff online, and unless it's a local company, how are you meant to get it? And you can do click and collect with local shops, but with things like Amazon, how are you meant to reserve it? You can't, can you? It's not like you just pop into Argos or Game or places like that. You have to get it delivered. So those people who order from those websites will get penalised for that. I think that's wrong. But critics said the move would penalise hardworking Brits and hit the poorest families the most, which it would do. Economist Julian Jessup said it's daft to think that an online sales tax could save the high street without raising prices and or 
reducing consumer choice. Traditional shops have suffered badly during the coronavirus pandemic, which has seen online sales soar. That has the potential to radically affect the Treasury's tax intake. While city centre stores pay high rates of tax on valuable retail space, online rivals are based at cheaper out-of-town warehouses. Okay, so it's under the pool on this, and it says, would you back an online sales tax? Yes, definitely. No, I would not. And of course, I would vote that way. Or I'm on the fence. I wonder if that's the same fence Jeremy Corbyn once sat on. Anyway, let's have a look at the results. Drum roll, please. Hooray! 65.9% of people would not back it. And I, obviously, am one of those people. Because look, since I voted. See? Internet giants, including Amazon, have long been criticised for paying low levels of tax in the UK. Yeah, but this isn't about that. This is about people themselves paying extra tax, which is wrong. And Britain spent £280 billion this year paying for COVID, with politicians in the Treasury worried about how it's all going to be paid back. It will be paid back. I think it should be taxed in other ways, but over a longer period of time. It will all get paid back eventually. Mr Norman also dismissed significant new wealth or property taxes during an appearance before the Commons Treasury Committee. He said the Chancellor is looking to build strong, sustainable finances when circumstances permit that. That seems to me to be a judicious recognition that some taxation could impede growth and damage our recovery. Even ex-Labour PM Tony Blair urged the government to avoid wealth taxes, warning that they never work in the real world. Anyway, what do you think about all this? You can let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, you can let me know by giving the video a like, subscribe to stay updated and share this video far and wide to get the message out there and I'll see you in the next one.